I wanted to fly a bee light to Oshkosh. I've always wanted to do that. So we loaded up everything and took off about 20 minutes before sunrise. Uh, all the lights on the plane on and climbing out. You can even see the instruments glowing. Caught a beautiful tailwind and was soon heading at uh, 100 miles an hour ground speed uh, towards Kansas City and on. After making a couple of stops, the group and I met up in Iowa City. Pulled in there and uh, the crew had brought me some lunch. Picked up a little bit more fuel from them. Uh, I did have doors on the plane for the entire flight and uh, they made it very comfortable. Kept uh, both the wind off of me and kept a little bit of rain from hitting me as well. Taxied out, uh, took to the main and in just moments I was up and climbing and away. Plane flew awesome. At, uh, didn't have any problems with uh, flying the airplane, but uh, when we got up to Monticello, Iowa, uh, everything is going great, I'm ready to go on, and then huge disappointment as the starter motor does not engage. It goes click, 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 but nothing happens. The uh, chase guys came and uh, we pulled the uh, cowl off and uh, soon Christian had the starter motor repaired and discovered that there was a copper braid that had broken. It was an easy fix, but by the time we had it all reinstalled and running, the weed run out of daylight. So I came back the next morning to continue the flight. Pulled out from there, taxied over to the uh, active runway, and uh, man does this plane perform. Uh, climbed out and handled the heavy winds without any problem. Uh, the highlight of the in-flight was uh, flying over the Mississippi River. Oh, what a beautiful view. Uh, ships going everywhere and then on to Iowa County Airport which is in Wisconsin now the winds had really kicked up now so I had to do sort of a helicopter landing and taxi very careful we waited there for about six hours for our weather to blow through and for winds to decrease uh, and then I took to the skies again to head over to Madison I landed in the grass infield just off an asphalt runway at a small airport and it made it easy to land and I just had had enough. But in any case, it was uh, time to keep moving. Uh, so I pulled out and uh, even though it's late in the day, taxied off and took off. And uh, I don't know, 45 minutes later, I was over in uh, Dodge County, which is close to Oshkosh. We tied the plane down for the night at uh, Dodge County and called it a day, you know, out of daylight, out of energy. Next morning, came back to uh, the airplane there at Dodge County, uh, put a little gas in the tank, pulled the cover off the cabin, lift up the door, and uh, get strapped in and taxi out. The Pro Cubs eager to get going. The uh, airplane is just flying beautifully. I just had 40 miles to go, but I was going into a pretty stiff wind. But uh, Pro Cub is a fast plane, and I figured I wouldn't have too much trouble. And I made it uh, from uh, Dodge County to Oshkosh and then uh, landed at Oshkosh about 9.30 in the morning on Monday. Total flight time was about 12 hours en route. I did that over uh, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. If everything had worked out, we could have done the entire thing in one day. Wow. Hope you enjoyed flying along with me.